Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got some emulation news and tips for you about Eater SX2, PCSX2, and Launchbox on Android. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on PC. In a previous video, which I'll drop a link to in the description below, we went over the big update for PCSX2, and that was including the Vulkan renderer and development builds. A lot of people have tested it out, a lot of people really like it, but some people are complaining about it, some people are saying it's broken, and the fix to it might be more simple than you think. The Vulkan renderer here for PCSX2 requires the latest NVIDIA graphics driver, that is if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card. At the time of filming here, it's 497.29. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I recommend opening up the NVIDIA control panel here, clicking help and then clicking system information. From here, it'll tell you exactly what driver version you're using is. For example, this one is 496.49, which is lower than 497.29, so this one needs to be updated. And fortunately here, updating your drivers is extremely simple. Open up your GeForce Experience, head on over to the Drivers tab, and then probably click on Download on the latest GeForce drivers. So it says right here, the latest GeForce Game Ready driver is version 497.29. That's the version I need for PCSX2. The release date on this is December 20th of 2021. If you're watching this video and there's a later driver, even better. Then just click on download here and you're good to go. Next up, we're talking about LaunchBox, specifically LaunchBox on Android. If you wanna learn how to set up LaunchBox, I've got you covered with a tutorial in the description below. One of the biggest complaints about LaunchBox on Android is that it doesn't currently support ETRSX2 but that looks like it's about to change here. So with the latest beta, it says full support for the new Eater SX2 PS2 emulator has been added. And that is a really good thing. On top of that, support for the dreaded new Android file permissions model has been added. So if you're using Android 11 Plus, well, you might be happy with this one. And last up here, we're talking about PS2 emulation on Android with Eater SX2. Now, Eater SX2 is still very early on in development. It's still technically in beta. It's very impressive, yes, but it will get better. Performance remains a hot topic here. Some people are complaining that it's slow on their devices. Some people are wondering what devices you need in order to play PS2 games smoothly. And I hate to say it here, but you're probably going to need a higher end device and preferably a Snapdragon one as they do perform better here. I'll show you the difference between a mid-level Snapdragon processor and a higher-end Snapdragon processor. So on the top of the screen here, we have a Google Pixel 5 with a Snapdragon 765G processor. On the bottom of the screen, courtesy of ETA Prime, we have a Red Magic 6R with a Snapdragon 888. Both phones are running Gran Turismo 4 and Eater SX2 is configured the exact same way on both of them. The settings are set to minimum to try to guarantee the fastest performance possible. You can see that the Snapdragon 888 is absolutely killing the 765G. Now, if Eater SX2 isn't currently running well on your device, this isn't to say it will never run well on your device. I just wanted to show you the difference in CPU processors and how much a CPU actually matters. Anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Let me know your thoughts about all of this news in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.